know what I like to do after I make my cast or I shoot a dock or anything like that and I'm retrieving, I keep my rod tip low, keep it down towards the water, and on a hook set, I don't do this. What I actually do is I just, on a hook set, I use my wrist just to, just a little pop like that, just, and keep your rod low and don't have it up in the air. Because when you're up here, you run, and your lure's way out there, you don't have no more fighting power. Keep your rod down low, make your retrieve, and when the fish hits, just reel him in, but keep your rod tip down towards the water. I mean, you can have it a foot or so, a couple of feet off the water, but you know, just don't have it up over your head so you don't have any kind of a fighting power. Let the rod do the work. And you just have to just slow retrieve. Don't, don't, don't take the fish and like try to hurry up and get him to the boat because he's gonna pull off a lot of times. That tender mouth on them crappies, man, that hook will pull out of there. Another reason I keep my line, my rod low is because when the wind's blowing, you don't want the wind blowing your line to the side. And so a lot of times when I make a cast, it, like if it's windy and you got bow in your line, you can't feel that strike. So I like to whip it. I'll take my rod and I'll whip the line down towards the water. And so that prevents that your line not being blown by the wind, just keep it really low. And also you can still get that good hook set. And that's, and that's the deal. You gotta stay in contact with your bait at all times or you'll never feel the bite. You can watch your line, but being in contact with your bait is very important. So always keep tension on your line. If you wanna pop it up and down, you can do that, but stay in contact with your bait at all times because those crappie have that ultimate thump and if you don't feel that you won't even know he's on there. <laughs>